Yo, what is up, guys? It is Teach Gorilla. Uh, welcome back to a fan game tutorial, and this is one of my most suggested. Su this is my most suggested tutorial, and it's how to make a Gorilla Tag fan game. So, um, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So, you want to click on New Project, and you this should already be installed. Just click on 3D Built In. Then you just want to name your game whatever you want. I'll just name it Tutorial Fan Game because I'm not going to use this. Oh, okay, I have to choose an organization. And then you want to click on Create Project and that's going to lead us to our next step. Okay, so after a little bit you should be loaded into your project. And what you just want to do is ignore everything in your sample scene in your hierarchy. Just click on Edit project settings and then right here you should see this little list right here you want to click on XR plugin management click on install XR plugin plugin management so that should just load for a little bit just give it a little bit to um, install all right now that you have in installed first you want to click on this little Android icon click on oculus let it load then after that, you want to click on the monitor again, and you want to click on o Open XR. Make sure that you do, you do it in my exact order, because when you click on Open XR and the PC tab, it'll re ask to restart your editor. That's why I click on Oculus first, and then I do Open XR. So go ahead and let that install. And right here, it's going to ask this project is using a new input system package, because you know it. This 3D Unity project is so showing as a 3d game but installing open xr on xr plugin management basically just tells unity that you're making a vr game and not a pc game so you just go on and click yes and restart the editor hey guys i'm back all right so after um a little bit you should be, be back into this tab and back in your unity project now you want to click on this little triangle the yellow little triangle next to open xr click on that and right here, uh, open XR project validation might come up. So first you want to click on fix all. Click on that a few times because it keeps. I think you just have to click fix manually. Now you want to click on edit. And now you see, okay, see now it's deciding to fix for some reason. All right, now you should be in open XR. Click on interaction profiles and just put oculus touch control profile if you're planning to put your game on steam which very little people do um you click on here and do the valve index control profile because people on steam can also use the valve index but i'm just adding or we'll, we'll just assume that you're adding uh, just oculus only for an apk or something and we'll just add only the oculus touch now that we're still on uh, open xr uh click on render mode and put it to multi-pass and then you want to go back here into the android and click single pass, single pass to multi pass. Then interaction managers, you just want to click on Oculus Touch, and then right here, MetaQuest support. Click on that, and that'll allow it to, you know, have Steam VR. So same thing on here, multi view, single pass to multi pass, and then click on. This is the most important part. Click on low overhead mode. And then if you're planning to uh, allow people on the Quest Pro to play your game, you can click on that too, but I'm not going to do that. And that's it. You should be done with XR plugin management. But now we're going to get into the toolkit. So you can go ahead and X out of project settings for now. Close out of the project validation. Now click on Window, Package Manager. And right here, Package Manager should come up. Now, I'm going to put this up on screen, but you just want to type in com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit. And now you just want to click on add, and it should uh, show up as adding a new package. So just give it a little bit to install. Okay, now that it's installed, for some reason with my Unity, it, it doesn't show up as soon as it, it's, it's installed on here. So, if this same thing happens to you, wait for it to load. If the same thing happens to you, you just want to scroll down until you see XR Interaction Toolkit. Now, it should come up, XR Interaction Toolkit. Now you want to go into Samples, click Import Star Assets. Now this is going to be for your controller stuff. 
and so that you can actually move around with your hands in the game. Okay, now here, um, for some reason project validation, it's not letting me, so I just click on fix all. Now you just want, you can X out a, a package manager, and now you should be here. Uh, asset samples in XR interaction toolkit 3.0.1. Now you just want to double click on starter assets, just let this load. Okay, and now that you're out of the package manager, you just want to double click on starter assets, and then you want to go to presets, and all of these should come up. You just want to click on these individually, so continuous move provider, continuous turn provider, dynamic move provider, you, you get the point, just click on and add all of these. Add, 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 and add. Now that you have all of these presets added, now we can actually start getting into the game itself. So I'm gonna link a um, GitHub URL in the description. That, this will lead to Gorilla Tech's official open source movement. So you can actually play like a gorilla in Gorilla Tech. So I'm just gonna go ahead and import that right now for myself because I already have it. But if you don't have it, go into the description, click on the GitHub URL, and install the Unity package. Not Nothing else, just the Unity package. You just want to import that. And it's going to ask you to reload the uh, scene, so just click on reload. And now you should be back. Now, um, I'm not going to teach you how to make the best map, but just for a basic map, so your game is actually decent. We're just gonna uh, make a cube. So you just want this plus 3D object and then cube. And for some reason, sometimes your cube isn't always at the, pos the correct position. So um, when you uh, import the cube, just click on it and then make sure position X, Y, Z are all at zero. Make sure everything is, is at zero except for the scale. Make sure the scale is one by one by one. Now that you've done that, there should be a box collider. Leave that there. And you just wanna click on this little tool right here, the scale tool. And you just want to make this big so that you can have a nice good old plane for your um, uh, player model to play on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a test map real quick so you guys can watch this time lapse. And I'm back. Hey guys, okay. So now that you have your starter map, um, it's looking very bland right now. As you can see, everything is just plain white and it kind of hurts to look at. So we're gonna add some textures so this game can look so much better than it already is. So you just wanna right click on your assets, click create, and then right here under audio mixer, you wanna click material. Now you just wanna name this material whatever you want. I'll just name it blue because I'm gonna make the color of it blue. Turn down the smoothness all the way, and then you want to click on these, this like little white thing. And you just want to make the color whatever you want. I'll just make it blue. And then to add the material onto uh, object, you just want to click on or hold on the uh, material and just drag it onto whatever you want to be that color. So I'll just make these blue. And then we can make another material. Just name it like red. We can name it red. And then just drag these on. And then for the gr uh, you know for the ground, we can make it green like grass. And yeah, there you go. So now we have just a basic base plate. We have double walls. We have some parkour. Actually, I'm gonna extend this a little bit more. So after you imported the gorilla rig, you should have a folder called resources. You want to double click on that open up Gorilla Prefabs, and then just drag in the Gorilla Rig right here. So as you can see here, your Gorilla Rig has spawned in. And this is a common problem that a lot of people have with their game. Their map is way too huge. So you just wanna click on your map and click on the cu uh, top cube, and then hold down shift, click on the bottom cube. Now you're selecting everything inside of your entire project. You just wanna, uh, you wanna go to your scale tool, and you see this little gray uh, cube in the middle. You just want to hold that down. 
and bring it smaller like that so now the environment that you made for your gorilla rig is actually up to size so now if i press play you shouldn't get any errors if you do uh go ahead and join my dev hub discord server it uh i will be more than happy to help if you just ping me inside of the unity help channel now that you're in here uh you want to open up your gorilla rig do not move it by the gorilla rig it messes up your movement a lot so you want to once you press play you can uh, open up your gorilla rig. There's two spheres and on another empty called a gorilla player. You can open up that gorilla player and there should be something called left hand and right hand controller. And if you move this, as soon as the sphere touches the ground, you start like floating in the air. So look, now you can like move around like this. Whoa, make sure not to fall out of your mouth. That's bad if you do. And you can just move around. You don't really have to do much. This is just a test, so it doesn't have to be perfect whoa and then as you can see like oh it's good what if it's like this permanently um it's not it's not uh your game view and your unity editor view are very different so if you just stop playing see it just teleports back to its original place so for example if i just press play the gorilla rig's in the unity editor but if i just press play and i delete the gorilla rig oh oh no the gorilla rig's gone i just stopped playing it's back because it's it was the change was made in while you were in play mode so it didn't save so now that you have your test um that basically concludes the tutorial um i will be making more tutorials to make your game even better because this is really bland hey guys uh editor th gorilla i uh i didn't mean to say bland i meant to say basic because this is really just a basic tutorial so yeah all right bye so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching my fan game tutorial um if you have any suggestions for what i could do that would be very helpful because i'm running out of ideas so yeah i'll see you guys later and um goodbye